Hey, it's Sadie, and you're watching Flick Cartina. We're back to dragons. Yes, dragons are back. How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World, I decided it deserved a spoiler rant just because of stuff that I thought I saw that were interesting about this movie, but I wasn't able to say it in my non-spoiler review because spoilers. So if you guys are new to this channel, uh, welcome. These are This is one of my very few spoiler rants. I think this is the first spoiler rant I've ever done in 2019, so it's gonna be fun. We are gonna talk about How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World and what I liked and did not like and stuff that I just wanted to let out during a spoiler rant. This movie would be really good to see in 3D just because of all of the color and just having dragons pop up out of you, uh, in front of your eyes and just seeing all of this stuff in animation come to life. That would be super fantastic to see. I saw it in 2D, which was still fine and it was still spectacular and the rendering was fantastic. Like the animation in this, I loved everything about this. I'm gonna first talk about stuff that I didn't like and just stuff that I had a problem with and it was on a, a micro level. It's not stuff that huge things that I was talk, uh, you know, having a problem with. But overall, I did enjoy the movie and like in the ranking of the How to Train Your Dragon series, I liked the first one the best, then I liked the second one, and then I liked the third one. I think that's just how it's gonna go. One thing that I had a problem with was the short amount of time that they had making the tale. Now this does make sense now that I think about it because of uh, Hiccup mentions Yes, I have tried to do this before, but he didn't want it, so, you know, that's that. And so he didn't have to go through a planning montage and testing out different types of tales on Toothless. It just took a short amount of time, and I was just like, whoa, we're done? Okay, this is fine. Um, yeah, problem solved, I guess? I thought the biggest problem was gonna be making the tale and figuring out how to get Toothless to fly on his own, but that wasn't the problem. The real problem was Hiccup trying to let go of Toothless and, you know, just let go of that crutch, so to speak, of, of having Toothless around all the time. Another thing that was kind of weird, it was kind of weird that the female Night Fury, the Light Fury, was more dumb than Toothless. Like, she didn't act as intelligent as Toothless did in the first two movies and in this one. She is a wild dragon and not used to being around people and communicating with them. Another thing is, we don't actually need a villain for this movie. It could have just been a movie about self-discovery and Hiccup and Toothless defining themselves separate from one another but no they had to make Grimmel and I understand that they had to have a antagonist for this to separate the two and fig and create conflict. Grimmel is not the best villain I wish he was more developed but they didn't have time in this movie to do it and so yeah his character design is really weird and just kind of put me off and just put me on edge and I'm just like can you please put your hood back on so that I don't have to look at your face any more than I need to. The term beady eyes definitely, definitely applies to this guy. But some good things about this movie, uh, it was a tearjerker to be honest. You're letting go of, of an entire franchise. This trilogy has now come to an end and you're just like, I want it to go on, but it's probably not going to. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard truth. It's something that we all have to make up with. And it, I'm glad that they're ending it so that it doesn't, keep going on forever and ever and ever and ever. The ending of this had a really well rounded ending and it made the entire trilogy satisfying and I really enjoyed this movie. Everything about it was beautiful, like from the costume design to the animation to the hidden world. One thing that I really saw was beautiful was just the opening scene where you just see all these dragons coming in and you see this world like this island that's infested with dragons and you're just like these are there's so many dragons there are more dragons than people it's just crazy that's all i have to say in this spoiler rant question for this week is light fury or night fury which one do you think is better i mean they're the same species but like which one do you like more like just i don't know let me know in the comments down below while you're down there in the comment section like subscribe and ring that bell so that i get to know that you guys like me and i can keep releasing more content for you guys as always thank you guys so much for watching have a great random thursday i will see you on the other side of the screen bye